So, you know, before we get into, you know, uh, slides in the discussion, just real quick, what, you know, uh, what, what was missing in the industry that, that, you know, created Volterra and, and caused, you know, a, a rocket success right out of the gate? You bet. So the founding team, Encore Singla, along with uh, Harshad as co-founder, they were multiple times now entrepreneurs. They built the whole switching product line at Juniper in the second half of 2000s. They pioneered, along with a couple other vendors, the whole software-defined networking market in the early 2010s, right? They built Contrail within a year. That went into and acquired by Juniper, really built that out. They were in 70% of the world's tier one um, 4G telcos within four years. Amazing. As they were doing that, as Encore sites, as they were doing that, they saw the challenges in all these providers moving, you know, the software defined stack into all these different locations, finding it's really hard to manage them all, coordinate them. They're still operating in a more of a perpetual software fashion. They said, how can we bring a cloud operating model, integrate layers into stack so you can really dynamically move cloud services wherever your workloads are, which are only going to accelerate with 5G along with enterprise along with enterprise application modernization, you know, microservices, container, modern apps. They said, we're gonna build something where we can put a cloud environment wherever enterprises or providers need to put their apps. And you can manage it as one, see it end to end, secure it, policy control it end to end as a single cloud, but you can go wherever you want, not just up in the public. And that's wow. what they went off, took their contrail learnings, other stuff, and it's didn't know what the heck to call it. They brought me in to launch the company back um, back summer of 19. And I had about all 90 days to launch the company. But this concept I came up with and Gartner the next week actually announced it's their top one of their top 10 tech trends for 2020. And now for 21, it's number three. It's this concept of a distributed cloud or distributed yeah. cloud service where you can put, again, a full cloud environment or a subset layer four to seven stack or even a subset wherever you need it based on where your workloads are and what you want to do. Maybe it's microservices, maybe it's a full app, whatever you need, wherever you need it, at the edge, across multiple public, in your data center, all the above, or building great managed services like James is going to drive, among others, for us. <laughs> That's kind of it in a nutshell, if that helps cover it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And so, James, from, from your perspective, seeing, you know, what, what you experience with, with your extensive SP background, um, but, you know, coming into the vendor side, uh, what what excites you about what Volterra brings to the table? Uh, yeah, I, good question. So I what, honestly, one of the things that excites me is just the passion that the team brings. I mean, you saw that with Mark. And uh, as we've as we've been able to work through um, the process of, of bringing Volterra and F5 together, uh, the excitement and, and, and just the intelligence that that, that team has uh, was was infectious. Uh, when I when I think back to my time before F5, when I was actually on the on the carrier side, one of the biggest challenges that we had moving to I'd say you know modern architectures with with software and containers and edge computing was it we we as the as the customer had to really be the service integrator and and that's not that's not really a thing that that telcos really want to become they were doing it out of necessity. And so when, when we started researching and understanding what Volterra had, a lot of the challenges that I had in my past life were, were solved. You know, being able to have a, a platform stack and, and all of the networking and the application security together uh, and then have it commonly managed made my life as, a, as an architect trying to give our operations team something to run uh, much easier. It was a much easier conversation because the operational life cycle is, is one of the biggest challenges that um, I think edge computing presents, especially as you scale into uh, you know thousands of locations. Mm -hmm. And so looking at this as how do you quickly launch services? How do you do it at scale? And how do you do it kind of seamlessly with the same experience across the board? That that solution I, I hadn't seen anywhere before. And so um, when we found Volterra and then I started understanding the team behind it, it, it just to me, it was one of those things where it's like, this is this is going to be very powerful, uh, especially for the customer base that I, I serve here at F5. What this solution, what Volterra brings in, lets you do is really put a full set or a subset of cloud services wherever you need them. We packaged it, you can see on the top, Volt Mesh is a really an integrated layer four to seven, layer three to seven stack from routing, load balancing, an API gateway, this cutting edge API security, web app firewall, a whole range of network and security, 
one data plane fully integrated, you can use all of it, you can use part of it, but it's gonna simplify that operation where you wanna put an integrated networking stack as opposed to three, four, five tools. Volt Stack is actually a set of app and platform services. So you get a full Kubernetes environment, you get key management, secrets management, identity management, all these things you need to do to actually run workloads. So you add the two together, you've got a really a full cloud environment that you can distribute. No, you're not gonna put that full stack probably in AWS or GCP, no. Out at the edge, you wanna put a cloud at the edge and make it really simple and centrally operated, it's a great way to do it. Whether it's the edge of our network where we've got pops or points of presence around the world, whether it might be over time at your enterprise edge. Again, great, or hey, I wanna connect cloud like we see here. I wanna connect Amazon to Azure. Hey, I want a consistent set of networking and security tools to do it. Great way to go cloud to cloud. We can connect you with the wide area network across the internet, connect you so you're completely seamless. You can see everything secure, everything end to end. Hey, I wanna go higher up and connect clusters. I've got a modern app with jigsaw puzzle pieces and I got one through nine in Amazon. Maybe I've got 10 through 19 in GCP, or maybe I just have them in different locations and I need to connect them. Again, a fully integrated stack, app networking, load balancing, app firewall, et cetera. I can connect all those really seamlessly wherever I am around the world. All done via SaaS, drop it in, simply configured. You get all the observability, put in your policy, off it runs. You're not configuring four, five, six tools, six UIs. And by the way, how the heck are you going to troubleshoot that? <laughs> Multi-cloud public, public cloud hybrid to data center or private cloud. Or one other neat, another use case we have, hey, I want to run some workloads closer to my user. I want to do jigsaw puzzle piece, whatever, 20 to 29, one third of it closer to my users. I can actually run it on Volterra's global network in these 20 plus pops, points of presence located globally. So I can improve my user experience and I'll process the rest of the app on the back end. Again, another option because we're distributing cloud services wherever you need to put your workloads, whether they're fraction or full workload. And you can even put it out there on, a, on the enterprise or physical edge itself, if and as you need it. The beauty is again with SaaS, just as you know, all of our customers, you're, you're, you're trying to, you're, you're trying to you know, digitize, you're trying to leverage the benefits of a cloud environment. Why isn't your infrastructure also cloud native and operating the same way as what you want to deliver as the app and the business logic? We're yeah. simply, we're, we're, we're cloudizing the infra to enable you to get to that cloud operational model, not just for your end user, but for you as DevOps, you as dev team as you're doing it, or NetOps or INO elsewhere as you're running it. That is the objective that Encore saw and then that we have been able to build. The benefits that we have customers have seen, certainly James will see with a lot of his providers and Volterra, Volterra already had coming in three of the world's 15 largest service providers. SoftBank is number five, they're on our homepage you know, with some of their comments, but some of the top telcos. <laughs> Key things they and the enterprise are looking for Number one, and these are complementary, not necessarily con, uh, con competing, but how do we reduce cost of operations? How do we consolidate some of that discrete stack, or sorry, that, that siloed stacks, both within one location, but across on-prem, cloud one, cloud two, and edge? How do you consolidate those consistently across locations, but even in a given stack, given multiple tools? Consolidate it, that reduces cost of operations, and it also makes you much faster as you go to market and makes you consistent. So your day zero is easier to deploy. Your day one takes more, less time out of your day to operate. So how do you get it out faster, get it right, and make it easier to operate with less tech debt? That is a key thing. Again, having a consolidated stack operated 100% as SaaS, like the diagram says. Improve that attacks, you know, cover your attack surface better, improve security, because you have common policy across these different places and up and down in your stack, even as you modernize your apps. I was going to just chime in here. I, I think one of the, the, the linkages that I, I believe is really important to the community is with with dev, DevOps, uh, even to a degree, NetOps. One of the, you know, some of the feedback we get when we talk to customers is, is, of course, they want security. Of course, they love security. But oftentimes, it's the friction makes it more difficult. And that's why you see these, hey, we're way ahead of security. I think between security and observability by by having it as part of the, the deployment chain as we have with Volterra, you actually eliminate that friction point. Uh, and, and I think that's one of the, the key things that I was, I was personally really excited about because 
Um, again, in my former life, I had I had responsibility for the security group uh, or parts of the security group and architecture. And it was always it was always, hey, we want to do the right thing, but we're also going to end up not being able to serve our customer if we don't get these products launched. And I think yeah. we put our we put our teams in really difficult uh, decision points. And so this is a I think this is actually a great solve to a lot of those those friction points. 